Hello, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll talk about how to treat and prevent the flu virus. Most people will be able to treat the flu at home. A combination of lifestyle remedies and over-the-counter medication can help relieve symptoms. Pain relief medication can help manage a headache and body pains. A healthcare professional can recommend the best options. Some painkillers, such as aspirin, are not suitable for children under 16 years of age. The use of aspirin at this age can lead to a condition known as RISE syndrome. Various options are available over the counter or to purchase online. It is important to compare different products and only take them under the advice of a medical professional. People do ask how long does flu last? So we are going to talk about flu medication. A virus causes flu, so antibiotics will not cure the illness. A doctor will only prescribe antibiotics if a bacterial infection is present alongside the flu. However, antiviral medications may help when someone has the flu. Here are some tips on how to treat a cold or flu at home. Antivirals aim to stop the virus from multiplying in a person's body. Examples include Oseltamivir, Tamiflu, and Zanamivir, Relenza. In 2018, the Food and Drug Administration FDA, approved a new drug called Veloxivir Marboxyl Zofluza, for acute, uncomplicated flu. People can take the drug by mouth in a single dose. People can receive this treatment if they are aged 12 years or more and have had symptoms for fewer than 48 hours. Possible side effects include diarrhea and bronchitis. Some research shows that flu medication may affect a person's heart. Flu Home Remedies When a person has flu, it is essential that they 1. Stay at home 2. Avoid contact with other people if possible 3. Keep warm and rest 4. Consume plenty of liquids and healthful foods 5. Avoid alcohol 6. Stop smoking, as this raises the risk of complications Other things people can try at home include 1 chicken broth 2 herbal teas 3 vitamin supplements however there is not enough evidence available to confirm that consuming these helps which foods are a good choice for a person with flu flu diagnosis if a person seeks medical advice for flu symptoms a doctor will likely ask about their symptoms and do a physical examination a doctor may also take a throat swab for testing the rapid influenza diagnostic test can produce results in 10 to 15 minutes but may not be accurate. Other, more accurate tests can take longer to give results. Flu or a cold. Symptoms are similar. A cold and the flu both involve 1. A runny or blocked nose 2. A sore throat 3. A cough 4. Chest discomfort 5. Fatigue however, there are some differences 1. A cold does not involve a fever, while the flu usually does. 2. The symptoms of a cold tend to appear gradually, while flu symptoms can develop rapidly. 3. Cold symptoms are typically less severe than those of flu. 4. After having the flu, a person may continue to feel tired for several weeks. 5. Flu is more likely to lead to complications, and it can be life-threatening. Flu or food poisoning. There are many types of viruses, and some can affect the digestive system. People sometimes call this, stomach flu. This illness is different from influenza, which is a respiratory disease. The most common cause of, stomach flu, is the norovirus, which enters the body through contaminated food or drink. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Food poisoning causes similar symptoms. Is it a stomach virus or food poisoning? flu or pneumonia. Pneumonia can be bacterial or viral. The symptoms can resemble those of flu, but an individual may have a sharp, stabbing pain in the chest, especially when they breathe deeply or cough. Bacterial pneumonia can start slowly or suddenly. Symptoms can include, 1. A very high temperature 2. Sweating 3. Rapid breathing and pulse rate 4. Blue nibeds due to a lack of oxygen symptoms of viral pneumonia are similar to those of the flu. They include, 1. Fever 2. Dry cough 3. 
Headache 4. Aches and weakness however, unlike the flu, symptoms of pneumonia usually develop gradually. Anyone who has a high fever and breathing difficulties should see a doctor immediately. What is viral pneumonia? When is flu season? People can have the flu at any time, but it is more common during the flu season. The timing and duration of the flu season change from year to year, but it usually happens around fall and winter. Flu activity often starts to increase in October, and it can last as late as May. However, it is most common from December to February. Prevention. The flu shot can help prevent flu, but it is not 100% effective. People should follow lifestyle measures to reduce their risk. Lifestyle tips for avoiding flu. Tips for avoiding infection include, 1. Practicing good hygiene, including frequent hand washing. 2. Keeping the immune system strong by following a healthful diet. 3. Quitting or avoiding smoking, as smokers are more likely to develop complications. 4. Staying away from people who have the flu. People should also stay away from others when they have the flu to avoid spreading it themselves. Contagiousness. The flu virus transmits through droplets of liquid. A person can pass the virus on to another person who is up to six feet away from them when they cough, sneeze, talk, or breathe. A healthy individual can pass on the virus a day before they, themselves, have symptoms. In other words, it is possible to pass on the flu before you know you have it. The infected individual can continue to transmit the virus for up to five to seven days after symptoms appear. People with a weakened immune system, older people, and young children may be able to pass on the virus for longer than this. Flu is most contagious in the first three to four days after symptoms appear. How long is flu contagious? Transmission. A person can develop flu symptoms if droplets that contain the virus and come from the breath of another person enter their mouth, nose, or lungs. This transmission can happen if, one, someone without the virus is near a person with flu. Two, someone who is virus-free handles an object a person with the virus has touched and then touches their mouth, nose, or eyes. Research shows that just breathing can spread the flu virus. Learn more here. Incubation period. The incubation period of a disease is the time it takes from when the virus infects a person to when the symptoms start. For flu, this is around two days, but it can vary from one to four days. A person can transmit the virus even before symptoms appear. Flu when pregnant. Flu can be more serious during pregnancy, as pregnancy affects how the immune system works. If a woman is pregnant and has flu, they may need to spend time in the hospital. Pregnancy-related complications include a higher risk of 1. Preterm birth. 2. Low birth weight. 3. Stillbirth. Flu can be fatal for newborns. Risks to the mother include a greater chance of having complications, such as bronchitis, ear and blood infections. What are some other causes of fever during pregnancy? How long does it last? Flu symptoms appear suddenly, usually around two days after infection. Most symptoms disappear after about one week, but a cough may last for up to two weeks. In some cases, a person may still be contagious for up to one week after their symptoms have disappeared. If complications develop, these can take longer to resolve. Some of the more severe types of complications can have a long-term impact on a person's health, for example, kidney failure. Some people experience post-viral fatigue for a week or so after the main symptoms disappear. They may have a lingering sense of tiredness and feeling unwell. Learn more here about post-viral syndrome and how to manage it. How long does it take for a cold to pass? Find out here. Timeline. Typically, flu may progress as follows. 1. The virus infects a person, usually through their nose or mouth. 2. After one day, they may be able to transmit the virus to others. 3. Symptoms appear one to two days after infection. 4. The chance of transmitting the virus is highest three to four days after symptoms appear. 5. After four days, the fever and muscle aches improve. 6. 
After one week, most symptoms disappear. 7. The risk of transmitting the virus disappears 5 to 7 days after symptoms appear. 8. The cough and tiredness may remain for a further week. How long does the flu last? Find out here. Precautions. The flu is not usually serious, but it is unpleasant. For some people, however, complications can arise. Some of these can be life-threatening. Complications include, 1. Bacterial pneumonia. 2. Dehydration. 3. Worsening of chronic medical conditions, such as congestive heart failure, asthma, or diabetes. 4. Sinus problems and ear infections. The risk of experiencing severe symptoms and flu complications is higher in the following cases. 1. Adults over 65 years of age. 2. Babies or young children. 3. Pregnant women. 4. People with heart or cardiovascular disease. 5. Individuals with chest problems, such as asthma or bronchitis. 6. People with kidney disease or diabetes. 7. Individuals who are taking steroids. 8. People undergoing treatment for cancer. 9. Anyone with a weakened immune system. Sometimes a new type of flu will emerge, such as H5N1, or bird flu. What is bird flu, and should we worry about? Check on our video for full details. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to our channel for related videos. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips on health, relationship, lifestyle and other helpful information to make your life easier.